Hey there, good morning. Thursday morning as I begin this, getting a quite a bit of a late start this morning. 7.31 in the morning, just getting ready to go start the workout. I actually slept in this morning until 6.30. I was exhausted after yesterday. I uh, don't like the fact that I'm getting this late start today considering the fact that I got so much shit to try to get done today. And I'm trying to tell you, today is going to be a great day. Yeah, it is. Ain't nothing gonna, ain't nothing gonna stand in the way of this day. So, first thing that I want to share with you guys: breaking news. Last night, right around the time that Dave and I would do a live stream over on After Prison Show, the After Show Live, with an emergency episode involving, you know, the craziness that happened to Dave. If you guys didn't see that episode, definitely check that out. Pretty wild, really awesome episode considering the fact that we did it live and that is just so much so much stress and pressure to perform and make it you know a good episode but anyways right around the time that we were doing that yesterday I would uh, I would receive the confirmation folks that we have finally finally after what feels like weeks what feels like forever become compliant with the third party verification company for the insurance we are fully compliant with that company that owns that property and it was also right around that time where that compliance came through that that one property would email me saying hey look we've got two units we need painted right now we've got a one bedroom and we've got a three bedroom and one of them is a color change on the trim so I'm trying to set that up for Friday for us to begin working and possibly work through the weekend to get those two units done but I don't know, maybe they don't you know, like vendors being there on the weekends doing work. We'll just have to wait and see. If, God, that is a nice Corvette right there. That new Corvette that kind of looks like the Lambo. That joint was like a little baby bluish too. That shit was slick. If per se, they hit me up and they're like, hey, look, damn, gas is 415. My God, it's pretty damn cheap in comparison. If per se, they hit me up and they say, hey, uh, we need these units painted ASAP. Well, then fuck it. I'm going to drop everything. We're going to get over there and get those units painted ASAP. Now, uh, you may be wondering, Joe, why don't you just tell them, hey, you could start today? Well, I don't want to seem too desperate is a very small part of the reason, but more important, I got some other shit that I need to do, including, you know, continuing to work around my house and also going to these other properties that are owned by this same company with my new flyers that have already been printed to say also fully compliant with the requirements of your company through the third party verification company that y'all use. That is such a big deal. So I guess one way to look at it is, or one way to say it is, you know, I don't want to start the work that we already have before I go out and try to get even more work. You know, I'm trying to put together a little crew. Uh, right now, it's me, Damon, Skater Dude, Dave, and possibly even one more. So, you know, got a little crew and want to make sure that I got plenty of work coming in. So yeah, there's that. All right, I'm over at the storage unit, 735, getting ready to get the workout in. I did the beta alanine, however you say that stuff, alanine, uh, this morning. And this morning, all I'm trying to do are burpees. Burpees, and then go run that two and a half miles. And then get this show on the road. We got a lot to do today. And I'm excited to get into it. Yesterday, I did a lot of bench. I'm gonna try to do burpees, but uh, I don't want to do those right after doing bench. Doesn't feel like that would be a good option.
right, that's my workout right there. Push-ups, front raises, back extensions. Let me get through this and get with y'all shortly. This building behind me, big ass apartment complex. I was thinking about trying to get painting work with them. Uh, that van way back there, painting contractor, drywall and paint. I wanna catch him and be like, hey, I got some apartments, how much you charge? How much you charge to paint here? And then see if my prices are comparable. But anyways, into the run, literally, first leg of it. Let's continue, we got a long way to go. Sorry guys, I'm just passing through. I don't want no problems. Please don't be hissing at me, spitting at me. There's a whole gang of y'all out here. Good geese, good guy. There you go. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Y'all got it. I don't want them problems. I'm just passing through. All right, I'm after a mile, probably getting close to a mile and a half. First mile was 11 minutes and 20 or 30 seconds. It's hot. I'm, I'm dragging ass a little bit, but we're getting through it, so continue on. Soaked. Two and a half miles on the dot, 2.50. 28 minutes and 14 seconds. Not under 28 minutes, but I had a tenth of a mile left with like 15 seconds to 28 minutes and I absolutely booked so first mile 11 minutes 28 seconds second mile 11 minutes 29 seconds and the third mile which I only did half of I was on track for 10 minutes and 39 seconds Whew. I'm trying to tell you this shit is not getting any easier but I'm I'm powering through it especially on days that I I just can't freaking stand it. And today and yesterday were two days like that. Maybe by next week I'll try to get to three miles. You know I mean business when I'm rocking the pastels. Hey there, what's going on everybody? A little more of a later start, but better late than never. Boy, look at that joint right there, yeah. All right, anyways, 10.30 in the morning, getting ready to get the show on the road. I've got eight properties I'm gonna go visit this morning. Now, these are cold calls. These are straight solicitations. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm Joe, owner of Blase 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 Blase. Just wanted to drop my information off to you guys, let you know, hey, I'm doing work in the area. And by the way, I'm already approved through the third party verification software that you guys use for your vendors. So if you need any painting, cleaning, or drywall repairs, holla at your boy. Now, you really want to get in contact with the boss at these places, and there's a good potential that I won't. Uh, you don't really want to cold call the boss to try to sell him on something, you know, catch him off guard. Uh, you know, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it off with whoever's at front. I'm gonna try to speak loud enough so that the boss hears, or maybe I get there right in time and they're like, hey, you know what? Matter of fact, we's looking for somebody. In those instances, if those instances happen, I'm going to have me a little $15 Starbucks gift card. I'm gonna go grab five of those. I gotta go grab a couple of folders and we're getting ready to get this show on the road, folks. Eight properties. Not sure how long this is gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take all damn day. Let's go see if we can make any headway with any of these. Who's excited? All right, up here at Walmart, and it's 11.32 in the morning, and I just put together my eight pamphlets. Notice the color. I think it's kind of fitting. Certainly will stand out on any desk. So I also went and hit up Starbucks, got my black coffee right here. I wanted this to be iced. It's, 100, it's 92 degrees outside drinking hot-ass black coffee. Reminds me of the weight pile in prison. Because mm. that's how them old heads be doing it. Anyways, I got eight properties I'm going to go see. I've got eight 
pamphlets put together with pricing and breakdowns and the fact that we're approved. And I've also got five Starbucks gift cards for $15 each. Now, when I walk into these properties, I'm walking in with two pamphlet, uh, two folders. One's got a gift card, one doesn't. And what's gonna determine whether or not they get a gift card is whether or not I get to talk to somebody. And I'm not gonna try to press. I'm not even gonna ask to talk to somebody. I'm just gonna say, hey, I'm dropping off my information. We paint clean and do drywall repairs. And hopefully if the right person hears or if they say, wait a minute, you need to talk to such and such, if we get the opportunity to talk to such and such, well then we're definitely gonna drop off the gift cards. Um, we might run out of gift cards. Every place we go, we might get the opportunity to talk to somebody. Or everywhere we go, they might shoo us away. Get up out of here with your soliciting ass. But you won't know until you try. We're not gonna be too overbearing. So I've got all eight properties uh, mapped out to a certain degree. I know which ones I need to hit first and which ones I need to hit last. And between number four and number five, there's a 30 minute ride and it's just the way that it worked out. Look at old Joe, old daddy AF, mapping out the court, like mapping out the trip. Bathroom breaks and all. I'm ready to be a daddy. Yeah, I am. And uh, in lieu of that, here I am trying to get this business jumping. Also, breaking news, I forgot to share this, this is pretty important. Uh, heard from the property, we start work for them tomorrow. So, let's go try to sell as much as we can today because hey, tomorrow, shit is about to begin. So let's go, let's go try to get as much as we possibly can in the meantime. All right, off to the first property. I might try to record it when I walk up in there, at least the audio. I, I can't guarantee that I will or not, but if I got some battery on my phone, I certainly will. So the first city that we're going to, there's four properties. The second city, there's three. And then the third city, there's two. Wait a minute, that's five, that's nine properties. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, there's one property I'm not going to. It's just too far out too far out of the way all right let's go do this all right about to be there we in the city with the uh ford a little bit of nerves that coffee probably ain't helping me none neither uh, but what's the worst they're gonna say get out oh no no oh no you can't do that oh no we don't do uh we don't do uh solicitations everybody needs vendors everybody needs vendors and they could say to me oh well you know we've got uh, all the vendors that we need and i'll say well you know Sometimes you can never have enough. <laughs> I'm just a little uh, psychosis. Anyways, we used to actually clean these apartments right here. This is owned by a different company. Um, this was an apartment complex that uh, my cleaners got bleach on the carpet and I had to replace some carpet in there. That was about $800 that cost me. Five or 500, 800, something like that. All these apartments that we're going to today are going to be similar to, you know, this one over here. Very nice apartments. Three stars or better. Most of them are like four point something stars. So that's why we got to wear the business casual pastel colors. I'm listening to Pooh Shiesty get it back in blood. <laughs> As I'm about to go. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Swallow the nerves. Swallow the nerves. There's plenty of parking too, but it looks like you gotta pay for it, so ain't that fun. Looks like I'll be parking uh, right up here somewhere. All right, wish me luck, let's go do this. First apartment complex, let's see how it goes. All right, just leaving from the first property and super success right there. So I met um, an agent, I didn't meet the, the boss, the boss is out of town on vacation, but I was able to drop off my information. No Starbucks gift card. Very nice young lady uh, said that they definitely need cleaners, they definitely need painters, they're gonna be calling. So, first property, a success. And uh, let's go to the next one. So we got two other properties, maybe three other properties in this city and Let's see if they're all as successful as that one seemed to be. All right, so the first apartment went really well. 
I'm already getting ready to be at the second apartment and hoping for the same. What if we ended up with all eight of these properties I'm going to today wanting us to do work for them? Holy cow, I'd need, I'd need a crew of 20 people. I definitely need a crew of 20 people. Okay, this is the next property right here. This joint looks, wow. This thing looks nice right here. I wish I could show it to you, but I'm not trying to dox. Turn right onto... <clears throat> I'm not trying to dox what we got going on and where we could potentially be working it. All right, let me go do this. Get with you in a moment. Leaving from the, first, uh, the second property right now and another super successful meeting right there turn right so two nice ladies in there they gave me the absolute info that i needed they said hey have you been out to such and such uh do you have any properties out there i said well actually uh, the first property that i've got through your company is in that city they said you need to go back out there and you need to go talk to these properties because the painter that they were using just dropped them all their properties so I got two more properties in this city that I need to try to go to, but instead I'm going to shoot out to that city and go try to lock down those properties. They're talking about like 40 units a month they got painting at just one of these properties. There's two properties in total in that city. I'm going to both of those properties and we got to go now. The painter just dropped him. He couldn't keep up. So I gave them the pamphlet with my information and they said that they want to use me too, but they're massive. Oh my God, they're three-story units. Um, they said they definitely need drywall repairs. They said that they were going to use me. So I, I gave them the pamphlet without the gift card. I literally came back out to the truck and got a gift card. I said, hey, look, for your information and generosity, here's coffee's on me this afternoon here's a $15 Starbucks gift card and they were blown away by that when I left they were looking at my information so man I'm trying to tell you I really want to film these conversations uh, that one I was gonna do but I pulled up right in front of the office damn near and I didn't want to be filming like that so these next ones that we're getting ready to go to we're definitely about to be filming so I, you got you got to see Joe in action you got to see the the this, the vacuum salesman in action. So we got a bit of a ride to get there. It's 20 minutes away. We're heading out there right now and I'll share when we get there and more importantly, how the conversation goes. All right, getting ready to be at these final two properties. I was gonna go to eight properties today. It's only gonna end up being four properties today. And let's just be honest here. You know, going to eight properties, if they all turned out to be properties that were going to utilize the service, uh, you know, that is very over ambitious at this point, considering we are just getting started and I'm going to need to gather some troops. I'm definitely going to need to get some people together, uh, which I will. I absolutely will. I am going to run this business like a well oiled machine, and Joe will be in the field all day, every day doing whatever I got to do. If I got to be the cut man, if I got to spray, if I got to clean up or prep, whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. But with these final two properties I'm getting ready to go to, I'm going to film both encounters. I ain't even messing around. I want you guys to hear Joe in action and we're getting ready to be at the first property. So Let's go see how this goes. It's crazy to, 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 to hear that the painter in this city dropped them. And because he couldn't keep up, supposedly, you know, it was only him and another guy. Man, I'm trying to have a crew, uh, you know, multiple crews, three crews of people. Whatever it takes. A van. A driver. Um, you know delivering people where we need them anyways let's go see how these next two properties go and i think i think there's a good likelihood that they're going to go pretty damn well hey how you doing uh, i want to drop my information off with you guys i'm going to prove the vendor do a painting drywall and clean and i heard you guys need uh need a pen my man yeah my man so uh, I'm the owner. Okay. One stop shop, we do it all. 
uh, just recently started working and we're already uh, approved. We do work in the area. We work with other properties, other companies as well. Yeah. I'm coming from a property in Norfolk that was telling me about. And uh, the fact that you guys may need, yeah. may need some vendors. So. Yeah, we do. We do. We, um, our painter stops in August. So we have one, two people doing some trial apartments for us. So I'll get with her when she's done and see if she wants to be junior to get an estimate and she's willing to do the trial apartments. But we're going to pay for a trial apartment. For sure. Yeah. All right, hopefully you could hear me okay in there. I feel a little bit like I was stumbling a little with that one. Very nice guy that I spoke with. And, uh, hey, hopefully uh, we'll get some business. Hopefully we're going to get some business there. My God, could you go any slower with this little car? All right, off to the next spot. This is going to be the final apartment complex, and this is a monster they i think they told me they got 400 and something units at this complex and they really need a painter so you know once you start doing this like going out and trying to talk to people you want you don't have to be perfect oh shoot jeez good lord you don't have to be perfect um so long as your ducks are in a row <clears throat> people are going to respect it not everybody's going to like the cold call but if you go and start doing this maybe you'll get some information on where it's needed at and you know there's plenty of work for everybody this is one of those situations that i feel like it's oversaturated like everything else prices have been you know bottomed out so you got to try to find the profit in the prices that are available or just not you know not even take the prices if they're too crazy but this is one of them things, man, where if you can get your ducks in a row, like I said, man, there is plenty of work out there. You know how many apartment complexes there are just in my local area? You know, I had mentioned eight. Eight properties that aren't even all of the properties that are owned by one company. You know how many companies own apartment complexes? Tons. Oh, shit. That's where I need to go right there. It's literally right in front of me. All right. I'm already at the next apartment complex. So this is the final one. I'm going to get Damon after this. And here's a funny story real quick. I've tried to get work at this apartment complex in the past when I was doing cleaning. And uh, I think I bought, brought them a Starbucks gift card and all that good jazz. They never hit me up. But now, hey, your boy's in the system. So holla at me. This is the one that's supposed to have like 30 or 40 paints a month. They might be like, yo, can you start tomorrow? Damn, what if they do say that? All right, I'll film this conversation as well. Okay. 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 Okay.
it's just different prices. Yeah, some properties don't include ceilings in their paintings. Uh, some properties have color changes. So yeah. I've offered a, a set price, an initial set price, but ultimately everything's up for negotiation. Yeah. And um, I try to be very easy to work with, but obviously, you know, I've got to make money yeah. doing this as well. Um, I have a unit, I'm in need painting. When could you guys paint more? When do you need it? I was going to paint it this weekend, but you guys... I could possibly do it this weekend. If I can't do it this weekend, I can certainly do it Monday. Okay. So I have a lady moving in on Monday. Like how many, how many bedrooms? It's a two bedroom, uh, one bath. Yeah, I, think it's too one I could I could probably get it done this weekend. I'd like to do the trial paint with you guys okay. and um, like I said, even if it wasn't that one, I have several vacants, so I could definitely get you in here. Okay. That was just one that came to mind. I have tons of vacants right now. Really? <laughs> like I said, I've been painting them at night myself. Oh wow. Yeah. I work all day to paint all night. Yeah, so you know, we do require the property to provide the paint. That's yeah, pretty standard yeah. throughout the industry. And um, other than that, we go in and we do what, what needs to be done. Okay. Are your units just, you know, repaints? Is there any color change no, taking no. place? 90, probably, like, we may have three, four units at most out here. We'll take our original color paint everything else has already been converted. Fantastic. So we're going to do trim doors. Um, we're going to do whatever you yeah. require. Uh, and you just, by the time you guys come in to paint, any drywall repairs are already taken care of. We do drywall as well. Yeah. Every, you may see every now and then they may have got the sanding spot, but other than that, I try to make sure my guys make sure the drywall, the holes are packed and everything before you guys get it. All righty. So I just left from that property, which is a massive property. And first, let me say, I don't even know what kind of recordings I've got at all. I feel like my phone cut off in my pocket a whole bunch of times and I got a whole bunch of like anyways I, I probably have a little bit of that meeting right there but long story short we got that property we definitely got that property so that is two properties that want us to begin right now the first property where we went through all the the hoops to get in with this freaking third-party verification company and then this property that we just left from and I met with the maintenance supervisor over there. Super, super cool dude. I saw two units over there. Like this dude is as laid back as they get. And I know what he's expecting over there. And we're gonna we're gonna knock it out. He wants he wants us to start this weekend. I don't know necessarily that we're gonna be able to start this weekend because we've already got the first property that we're working on. And if they let me work this weekend, I'm gonna bust out those first two units that they've got. And I'll begin with this guy on Monday. But he's got 30 units right now. He says next month he's probably got about 30 units as well. Um, so, yo, for uh, a day of going out and trying to sell, I've locked in two units and guaranteed, guaranteed, out of the three other units that I went to today, is there's going to be one, if not all of them, calling also. So now I really got to get on the ball and start trying to find more help. Funny to mention that the guy that I went and tried to meet at the, the motel on the same day that I met the 47 year old skateboarder dude. Remember I went to the motel and he never showed up and then he called me and was like, hey yo, I'm at the 7-Eleven getting ready to run out to Norfolk and go get that, that dope bag. Well, he just hit me up talking about, excuse me, sir, if there's work, I'm still interested. <sighs> Anyways not very certain that there's going to be anything with him but most certainly getting ready to get on the grind and start trying to find some help i need drivers i need painters and i need you know people who are willing to clean i'm ready to get it i'm ready to get it all right day's over with i was going to get into a bunch of other things today but just don't look like that's going to happen um, ended up hitting Lowe's up, grabbed a couple other things that we're going to need for tomorrow. And tomorrow it's like starting a brand new job, except it's kind of like a job. It's a brand new business. And I guess one thing that I want to say as, as I wrap this up is I'm proud of how today went. Really proud of myself for going out there, putting myself out there in an effort to try to get the work. I'm quite certain I succeeded in doing that. We've got two properties right now ready to work with us out of 
four total that we went and visited today. And like I mentioned earlier, we're probably going to end up working with all of those properties. We went through all of the pain in the ass back and forth with the insurance to get compliant with this third party verification software. And we did that. And now, hey man, it's time to get as much work as we possibly can and make that as beneficial as possible. The next issue, hands down, guaranteed to be having enough help to maintain the workload. And like everything else that we've done thus far trying to start this business, I'll tackle that as we get to it. We've got me, we've got Damon, we've got Skater Dude, we've got potentially Dave, we've got potentially one other, and we'll find more people. I hope we need a staff of 20 to maintain all the work that we end up getting. It's going to be epic. This is like a next chapter getting ready to take off and it begins tomorrow. I'm super excited about this. I know this is going to be a shit ton of work. It's just one other thing to throw on to what we already got going on, coming back with the APS after show, doing videos for Joe Does Stuff, but you know what this is taking the place of? Flipping houses. It's not the right time for the market. And what it is the right time for is to get into a, to get into a business that's somewhat recession proof. Everybody is gonna need a place to live. And more now than ever, apartment living is certainly gonna be, <laughs> you know, the big ticket item. So I'm glad that we got this going. I'm glad that today went as well as it did. I was half expecting to get some sort of negativity, some sort of rejection. We didn't get that at all. Just goes to show you how much of a need there is for vendors, for companies willing to work with apartment complexes. Folks are seeing me out here start this thing from nothing. So just know that if I can do it, you certainly can as well. I'm going to continue to share this every step of the way, including tomorrow on day number one of painting. And I can't wait. I'm going to leave it here. You guys let me know what you think. How do you think I did? How did I fare out there dealing with people, putting those people skills to use? I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm ready to wake up early and start this brand new chapter and this brand new job. And we got to get it right tomorrow because tomorrow is trial paint day. And if we don't do a good job, well, I can guarantee you one thing. We'll never paint for these people again. So here's the hoping. We're getting ready to knock this shit up out the park. Thanks for taking the time to rock with me on this. And I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care.